But good. now we're going to see if you're really good, Sean. We're going to talk about this Ghostface album. <laughs> All right. Come on, man. <laughs> now, nah, I'll, I'll kick it off. Um, if I'm being honest, um, with with the Ghost Project, you know, it's similar to what I said about scar tissue. I This is the first time me listening to Ghost and I could hear the age on them. You know, I could hear the uh the the rust you know what i mean and um i think being fans of nas that kind of spoiled us a little bit you know what i mean because and he's rapping at such a high level at a you know age where you really shouldn't be and i mentioned method man earlier method man's in top tier shape you know so i think we expect all of our you know legends to be in the same kind of you know, uh, rap shape, but on ghost, I hear the decline a little bit. And that was, you know, that was a little bit disappointing, but, um, I'm hoping that this is a warm up for Supreme clientele too. Um, but if we ever get that, first of all, but what I will say is this album, it had, it had a few joints on here. It had, um, the no face with Kanye speaking of, you know, he's supposed to do Supreme clientele too. Um, the twin, um, not twin hammers called pair of hammers with method man. Them going back and forth was, was fire. Them going back and forth. They going to produce Supreme clientele too. Did that, you say I'm, that out loud? That's just what we're being told. <laughs> that's what we're being told. <laughs> you just keep on being told that AG, you but just um, keep on being told that there's not a chance of that happening. But, uh, but yeah, so overall, I mean, I could just hear the rust and that was a little bit disappointing. But the project has everything you would want from a ghost project. It has funny skits like the serial skit. It has the soul, you know, samples. It has, um, you know, he's in his storytelling bag. Everything you would want from a ghost album is there. It just doesn't hit the mark on the delivery. You know what I mean? A ghost album is there? What ghost is known for. What ghost is known for. But the delivery... He doesn't stick the landing. He's doing ghost things, but he doesn't stick the landing, and that's disappointing. Sean, Before, since you're just here for some, so, since, since Sean, since you're just here for support <laughs> this evening, apparently. Yeah. Before before like before we AG's get to claims, would you like to support AG's claims? <laughs> before we get to before we get to his take, let's read these super chats real quick. Uh, Jadarion with the five dollars super chat, he says, "Jay Ski's testament of the times has the most staying power to me. Replay value high, so that's his pick for album of the year." Um, Tracy G two with the five dollar uh, super chat, appreciate it. Uh, it says, "Y'all ain't no true Cole fans then, because I literally listen to Might Delete Later and Family Matters Daily." Cole and Drake like the. Don't do that, Tracy. Like the SB one hundred, and I don't know Talk what the SB. Him. Yeah, Talk to him, Tracy. But um, Colin, but yeah, she's saying, Colin I mean, Drake like the Super Bowl. Oh, like the Super like Bowl. The okay, got like it. First person yeah. shooter. Yeah, like I said, hey, hey, Tracy G. I, you know, what I'm saying, me and my son pulled up to the to the Drake and um Cole concert. We spent a lot of money on those tickets, so I can't disown them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I got a lot of money invested in them, right? But um, Coop, Sean's not going to speak on it. So what's I, your thoughts? I'll be honest. I'll be honest about it. I'll be honest okay. about it. Good. I'd, mean, like to bring up the, I'd like to bring up the rear in this conversation, Sean. Go ahead and jump right <laughs> on in the middle. Yo, bring up the rear? Oh. <laughs> yo, oh. that is crazy. Oh. I don't, what, do you, what do you mean by that? Like, I don't even Yo, you want to know? Crazy. You're not being support. You're not being supportive at all. You can jump okay. back. <laughs> well, you said you said bring up the rear. I'm like, hey, look at Sean deflecting. <laughs> <laughs> yo, I'm jet lagging. I'm jet lagging. I'm not gonna lie. Um, <laughs> yo, this look. I'm, I'm, um, I'm a little disappointed. I'm be honest. Y'all know that Ghost is my number two rapper of all time. Um, listening to this album, it reminds me. It's like a mesh between uh, Ghost Dini, the Wizard of Poetry album, as well as a little bit of Pretty Tony, and a little bit of the uh, the More Fish. It sounds like it's a bunch of outtakes from those albums. And he put it on here. Um, I I don't think he's that sharp. But I want to hear a ghost. I want to hear a ghost on a RZA track. I said that last week before the album came out. I said I wanted. I'm more interested in Ghost and RZA, and Ghost and someone from that Wu Element group, as opposed to outside producers 
um, newer producers, because I don't think a new producer or a uh, just any producer can produce an artist like Ghostface because you got to get the best out of Ghostface. You got to get the emotion out of Ghostface. You got to get the entendres. You got to get the slick talk out of Ghostface. You got to get the eight ravioli bags, two thirsty niggas, better belly eight. You got to get that out of him. You don't get that out of him with the beat selection that you got from this. I understood where he was coming from because I understood the Guns and Roses theme, where the first half was more of the guns, more of the, you know, I'm going to hit you in the face. The back half of that was more for the ladies because he had different stories and different things going on. But I still felt like those were outtakes. Plan B. Yeah, plan, <laughs> right. And stuff like that. You know what I mean? He, I felt like there was outtakes from the Wizard, the Wizardry album that he came out with a couple of uh, several years ago. Um, it was underwhelming to me. Scar Tissue, of course, was, was dope, but I still felt like there was more to be given on that. Um, that the Hammers joint uh, with, with, with Meth uh, was phenomenal. Um, I thought the joint with him and uh, him, Sheik Looch, and Jim Jones wasn't too bad. Um, I think that was pretty dope. Um, the Fat Joe joint was okay. Um, I don't know where he dug up Ja Rule. I, di I didn't like that collab. Uh, that was crazy. I, that, I, was, <laughs> I don't know where he got Ja Rule from. Um, so that, that was a, to me that was like what did they like, come on ghost um and uh, you know we try to get ghosts on here so i want to be very careful how i navigate this um overall if we had the scale the hip-hop talk scale of um of a, of the uh the, the the mics or whatever you want to call it pause um i'll probably give it like a three and a half man and that's me being generous from a fan okay. perspective um because i can appreciate what he was trying to do but i think coop mentioned last week uh, very lightly on the scar tissue joint he was saying how it sounded like ghostface not in, in our rap in shape right now and that's important because a, a rapper of his elk you know someone who's been in the game for so long your ghost like about 55 i think now 55 56. Yeah. so you're talking about a rapper who doesn't have that um that 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 panache as old boy is saying django he doesn't have that panache um on on a mic like he used to have but i also think it comes down to who's producing the album you got to get ghosts in his element when you give ghosts a ghost beat a soulful joint something that he can rhyme over and to your point I'm, I'm gonna leave that this and click it over to you coop um the ag you kind of you touched on it as well pause when you were saying that it sounds like there's some dna from ghosts on this album right you can hear what he's going with it you got the skit scene they got the funny skits you got him rapping over an actual track when the track is still playing in the background. You have all of those elements, but the landing, he's not sticking the landing because I don't think you have some a maestro like RZA in that in that uh, in that room with you saying, "Hey, take that out, son, or put this back in." So like you don't have that conductor like RZA to help orchestrate the right you know feeling for that particular project. Um, so yeah, underwhelming for me. I'm not gonna front. Uh, but I, I kick it over to you, Coop. So you uh, can sorry, bring up real, quick, <laughs> real quick, real quick, real quick before Coop gives his take. Um, yeah. You brought out outtake. You brought up outtakes. This sound that this sounded like some outtakes. Those put a project mm -hmm. out. Um, it was either the top of this year or last year called the Lost Tapes, mm -hmm. and it was some true outtakes. And I think it was pretty fire. If I'm being honest, it had some joints on there. But that just yeah. shows the difference in right how somebody time. was at better than this project absolutely but that just shows the yeah. difference in somebody how somebody used to rap because we don't know how old those tracks are and how they're currently rapping so um mm -hmm. you know you could you could just hear the rust so hopefully the rust is off if we are to get supreme clientele too and i'll pass it to you Coop. no but dude, to your point like if you think about adrian young when they did the um the 12 reasons to die uh compilations adrian That's young brought out that ghost that was that was dope, dope because dope he went he went back into dope that that vault he went into that soulful yeah. vault yeah. you got to give go soul for music you can't give him this stuff that we hear today in today's music it doesn't stick to your ribs that's not who he is when you got like i think every song had a feature every single song had a feature and i don't want that from ghosts at this point you know what i mean give me a three or four features give me a woo collect give me a woo banger 101 and let's call it a night I just think he was trying to touch too many uh, parts of the audience. Pause. Go ahead, cool. Sorry. So first of all, I'm going to address the elephant in the room about why this album isn't that good. Ghost voice don't sound good. It doesn't. It doesn't. 
It doesn't. I'm, I'm going to tell you something. I'm not joking when I'm saying this. You know, I've been pulling up on hip hop talks. I've been letting people inside of my life a little bit more. So when I smoked weed, there came a point in my life, in my adulthood, where I stopped smoking cigars and I started smoking papers about my chest, about my voice, about my vocal tone. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm serious. He needs to stop smoking like blunts, stop smoking cigarettes. It mm-hmm. has affected his voice. Yeah. Vocally, mm-hmm. he is not the same. Nah. Part of what makes Ghost Darts so sharp is that his voice is sharp. It's not just what it says. It's the way that his voice pierces through a beat. Mm-hmm. When yep. he's enunciating his word, especially when he's finishing at the end of bars. Right, right. Like, right. think about this. If he were to rap the verse to Impossible right now, it wouldn't have the same effect because part of what makes that verse so special is the way that he's using his pitch. Mm-hmm. Call the ambulance. Jamie been shot. It's yeah. the panic. Yes. It's the frenetic, yeah. high-paced, high-pitched nature of it. Yeah. Yes. Yes. It's too gruff all now. Is, all of that is gone. Yeah. We yes. eat fish, toss salads, and make rap ballads. Right. Different right. when he says it like that. Right. And so the the biggest problem with the album is actually him vocally. Yep. Because somebody got a good point in the super chat. I mean, not super chat, but they said they've been touring all year. Does that have? Do you think that that has something to do with the, you know, his pitch? Like, you know, his voice might have been strained over the course of the tour. Ag, no, if touring. it does. Ag, if it does. First of all, touring is part of the cycle of being an entertainer and an MC. So you need to prepare yourself properly. Like, get some green and black tea in the morning with some honey and some lemon every day. Keep That's your it. words to a minimum. That's you it. know what I'm saying? Like you're older now. That's the it. way that you have to train is different. Absolutely. Like the way that you train when you're 25 ain't the way that you train when you're 50. If you train the totally same way, different. look here, Sean, you know this because we were talking behind the scenes. Oh, hmm. I'm doing the same workout that I was doing when I was 25 when I just started working back out. Now, the way hmm. my body feel the next day after doing the workout is totally, totally different. different. Facts. Totally different. Facts. Facts. So I'm in pissed. torn. <laughs> you know what I mean? And my voice sounds crisp. Yeah, mm-hmm. you can't. You can't click like AG, man. Yeah. Nope. Nope. Oh, nobody, exactly. nobody's comparing you to go. <laughs> think about it. Like think about think about think about think about the ghost verses that you remember though. Like think about yeah, fourth right. chamber. Like think about his voice. Why is sky blue? Why is water, water wet? wet? Yeah. Why did Judas grab the Romans? Why Jesus slept? Yeah. Stand yeah. out. Stand yeah, out. Yeah, I look like two dogs stuck. Yeah. That's his bread and butter. That's why he's saying it though. He sounds crazy. Like you feel like you're running through the projects with ghosts when he's talking. Right. It's the inflections. It's the inflections. It is. It matters. Yeah. Yeah. Like Guru said, at the end of the day, it is about the voice. And so the voice is what's suffering more than anything else. 